Hey everyone, it's Zach, and in today's video, I'm just going to quickly go over the charging options that you get with a brand new uh, Tesla Model 3. If you haven't had the chance to, I do ask you, uh, like the video if you do enjoy it, but also um, subscribe if you're not already. Just helps me make more videos. So let's get into it. So you've got your brand new Tesla Model 3 home, and you're wondering, how am I going to charge this thing? Hopefully you've looked into this before getting the vehicle. But if you haven't, it's okay. Uh, we'll go over what you'll get out of the box and some options that you may need uh, to take if you want to charge things a little quicker. Okay, so let's open up. So in the back of your vehicle, you've got this super secret compartment and you've got a bag. So let's close that. Okay. So in the kit, you're gonna get This guy so that is a standard 120 volt wall outlet so you can um, I don't have one around here but you know just the standard one you just can plug it in it charges about I think it's like eight kilometers or six miles something like that uh, an hour so super slow so if you had to charge your vehicle to 100% it would literally almost take you I think it's like 24 hours okay and then you also get your a travel adapter, uh, so that's in the event that you need to use uh, any destination charger or stuff like that. Okay. So, not in the kit right now because I'm using it, is your charging wand. So this is the part obviously that goes into the vehicle. So you've got your unlock button and coming from there goes to the charger itself. So this is where things kind of end in terms of what you get in the kit. So. If you didn't have a 120, sorry, uh, 240 volt, uh, 32 amp, or sorry, 40 amp um, breaker and system, uh, you obviously wouldn't have that, but you'd be using this. So this would plug in to the, 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 the charger itself, but, uh, and, and that would charge it super slow. But what I've got set up is the 240 volt NEMA 1450. Okay, so that just plugs right in there. And, and uh, that goes obviously to the breaker and gives it a, a much faster charge. So I can get a full charge in, I think it's about seven hours. And then you can see we're, we're currently uh, charging there. We've got, we're at 59%. We've got uh, three hours and 30 minutes to go. Now, one thing to note, the actual NEMA 1450 adapter that plugs into your, your charger there um, it actually is not included with the vehicle anymore it was but now you do have to pay um, I believe it's $34.99 or $44.99 I'll include the link in the description below but you'll have to pay uh, to get that separately which kind of sucks but it is what it is sorry in the kit what you're gonna get is the standard 120 volt wall outlet and for some people that's probably gonna be enough you know if you're only driving a little bit here and there every day um, you can, you can totally get that, that back, uh, that, the power back the next day. One thing you want to keep in mind on is if you have time of use billing and you're not going to actually start charging until you're off peak, that 120 volt may not work, may not be enough uh, time to get you that full charge the next day. Stay tuned for another video. At some point, I'm going to go through the process of using a 120 volt, uh, charger for the vehicle and to see if that's enough. Will I be able to sustain my vehicle's battery over the next couple days using that 120 volts? We'll see. But until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later.